Hey amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today with another video coming to you from Madrid, Spain. I'm in the center of Madrid. I've just finished work and I have to go now to a place called Chinchon, which is about 50 kilometers away from the center. But uh, I thought I'd uh, go there and uh, I'll have a coffee, show you a little bit of Chinchon and uh, we'll have a bit of a chat on the way there too once I get uh, out of the city limits. So uh, let's go. All right, so we're about to get off the highway. This is the highway that goes from Madrid to Valencia. So we're about 21 kilometers out of Madrid now. And uh, we're gonna take the road to Chinchon. Now, Chinchon is one of these places in the Madrid community that is a must visit. There's uh, various places around Madrid that you can, you know, spend uh, uh, a day, maybe uh, spend the night in. Chinchon has a nice parador, other uh, accommodation options. And as I said, it's about uh, 50k from the center of Madrid. The bad thing about Chinchon is that there's no decent transport options. The only way to get there is either to hire a car or you could probably find a bus uh, that would take you there as well. But there's no metro, there's no uh, train, uh, bus or car, basically the only way that you can get there. There are tours that go from the center of Madrid because obviously Chinchon is a very touristy place. Uh, you know, thousands and thousands of tourists visit there every uh, day. So you'd probably be able to get tour buses from the center of Madrid there as well. And along with Aranjuez, which is uh, probably the other main tourist city in the area, uh, Chinchon, as I said, is a must visit. So what is Chinchon? Well, you know, it's one of these historical uh, villages, let's say. Uh, it's also in the, well, there's a list of the prettiest villages and towns in Spain. Chinchon is also on that list. I'm not sure how many there are in total, but Chinchon is the only place in the Madrid community that has made that list. And uh, it's a tourist place nowadays. There's also a lot of agriculture there as well. Uh, you can, you know, get certain uh, regional products there. Uh, it's also famous for an aniseed drink, uh, but uh, mainly it lives from tourism nowadays and uh, other services related directly or indirectly to tourism. So we're on the highway there now. It's probably about 25, 30 minutes there, depending on the traffic. Hopefully the traffic won't be too bad. It's only about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, so hopefully it won't be too bad. So we'll, uh, we'll see. The roads there are not too bad, so we shouldn't uh, have any dramas from that aspect, but uh, the traffic trucks. Remember Spain's economy is uh, booming at the moment, apparently. There's a lot of construction on, so we could get stuck behind a couple of these trucks that are transporting, uh, you know, uh, rubble and things like that. So uh, hopefully it won't be too bad, but we'll see. Now this part of Madrid as well, there's a lot of uh, farming land. Uh, we can see over here that we've got uh, olive groves, uh, a lot of olives produced in this area as well. There's wine, there's cheeses, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, agricultural activity so close to the city. Remember, we're only about 30 k's now away from the center. And uh, you know, you start to get into um, quite rural Madrid, let's say. We're going to go down into the uh, type of valley. All of the towns and villages in this area have uh, local specialties. Uh, there's a place just around the corner here called Morata, which is famous for its uh, chocolate, uh, like a type of pastry, what they call here palmeras. Uh, Chinchon, as I said, is famous for uh, various things, aniseed uh, liqueur, uh, Campo Real, which is another small town in the area. 
I don't know how small it is, it's not that big. Famous for cheese and olives and things like that. So there is a lot of produce coming out of this area here. We can see that we've got like a, a type of a valley area there where, um, you know, farmlands and uh, there's, a, there's a river running down there as well. So there is a lot of uh, farming activity in this area. We're gonna take the road here to Chinchon people come out to Chinchon also on a Saturday or a Sunday to have lunch there's uh, lots of restaurants uh, all types of prices family restaurants this time of year a lot of people are having their uh, you know christenings and um, other religious ceremonies like that so they come to places like Chinchon where there's uh, big restaurants and they can get the whole family and all of the friends in there so quite popular for those things as well, other events. And uh, I said before, there's a parador. Uh, if you're not familiar with the parador concept, it's um, it's um, it's accommodation in uh, historical buildings. I'm not sure exactly what the building is in Chinchon. I think it, it's some type of convent or something maybe, uh, but. Uh, a lot of the paradors are old hospitals and convents and other buildings that have a uh, historical significance and uh, the government's government run scheme they've turned them into hotels and uh, a really good accommodation option if you can afford it of course they're not cheap uh, they have restaurants uh, in them as well which serve regional dishes and uh, the restaurants are not cheap either so you know if you want to come here and look at that accommodation option I would recommend the Paradores there are other options nowadays a lot of the other hotel chains have uh, picked up on the idea and also put hotels in buildings of historical importance if you go to cities like Lyon and Segovia you can also stay in hotels which are which are uh, fantastic from that point of view but the Paradores um, was a uh, a pretty popular concept a few years ago I haven't stayed in one for a while but I know that my parents every time they come to Spain they do uh, stay in Paradores when they travel around now to the right here there's the uh, Chinchon the uh, aniseed factory you can see here the uh, Alcolera de Chinchon the alcohol factory there was actually some cars stopped back there so maybe it has like a, a tourist um, aspect to it as well maybe there's uh, visits it's quite famous uh, so that's something you can do on the way and uh, yeah so we're going through the flat area before we get to Chinchon to get to Chinchon you've got to go through these really curvy bendy roads it's uh, a little bit dangerous to drive you often get stuck behind a tractor which is uh, a bit of an inconvenience hopefully that won't happen today so I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately and the reason for that is that I've just been too busy at work. I uh, started work in a, in, a, in a new company giving classes and for the last couple of months really I've been flat out doing that so I haven't had time to record videos and edit them. Of course all of the work comes in the editing process where you have to sit down and uh, do the tedious job of editing the videos and it can be uh, very time consuming if you've ever done it. So I haven't really had time to sit down over the last few months and do that. But this month I'm, uh, I'm f uh, I've got a little bit more free time. So uh, we should be able to get a few more videos out this month and uh, next month as well. The weather also hasn't been the best. It's been a pretty strange summer. In fact, I don't know what's going on with the weather here in Spain. Uh -oh, we've got some type of accident situation here, I think. What's happening here? No, se puede. Some type of uh, heavy machinery coming down the hill, so we've um, we've been forced to stop here. So we'll see what happens. So um, I'm just going to cut this off here for now, and I'll pick up the video again when I get close to Chinchon. All right. 
right, so we're coming up to Chinchon. Now we've got two options. We've got the high road or the low road. I'm going to take the low road and we'll find a place to park. Chinchon's got a population of about 5,000 people. A lot of people will probably work in Madrid or in the other bigger places in the area. The people that work here, you know, tourist based industries, shops, hotels, bars, restaurants, other small businesses. But uh, yeah, a lot of. Uh, lot of tourist activity here. So I'm going to park in here and from here we'll walk up to the top. So there we go, we've got to uh, Chinchon. Let's go. Okay, so that's Chinchon done and dusted. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and I'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego. Thank you.